on the west side by the trash box, yeah And when she come around me, please no bad vibes, miss with bad lies, yeah And I ain't never let you, this a bad time, I'ma let down, yeah She think that I'm a star now, cause the way I shine when I'm in the crowd, yeah Pretty little bad thing from the west side by the trash box What is up, guys? Okay Listen, don't get at me, because first of all, I already, I already see the judgment coming through the camera, okay? I hear it. I see it, okay? Um, but I know I've been gone for quite, ooh, baby, this face sweet. Okay. I didn't even know my makeup looked this good today. Um... And I don't even have no lashes on, guys. So, hmm. I just took my lashes off. And then I was like, you know what? I been slacking. So, I'm going to show you guys my detailed shower routine. Like, without no shaving. Like, my everyday shower. I guess my detailed shower routine, my everyday shower routine like the kitties wax the armpits are wax the body's already smooth this is like my everyday every day i do this it's a little bit more it's a step up than every day but it's like that shower that maintains my body for the week i try to do this at least three times a week like it still has scrubs and all that kind of stuff but i wanted to start off with my skincare because you know, I have some explaining to do. Hair's tied, okay? Let's just say that. It's hot outside. Even though it really is hot outside, my makeup, though. I just came in the house. It is literally like 4 or 5 o'clock. <laughs> I'm take my ring off because I don't like to wear my ring um, when getting into stuff. So, I guess that's like one thing that's new. Your girl got married. If you don't know, that means you're not following me on my social medias. Um, your girl's been married officially for a whole month as of yesterday. Um, so June 3rd, I said 3rd, June 13th, we got married, we eloped, got married, eloped, whatever. I don't know how people really go about courthouse weddings, but we eloped or right off and got married um, on the 13th of June. So today is the 14th of July. So we officially been married for a month. Marriage has not changed a lot of things for us. I know some people be like, after marriage things are just gonna change. And that's why a lot of people don't get married. But for us, it didn't change anything. You know, if you are day one, I'm gonna take my cracks off. You know, I got hair shoes. But um, for us, marriage didn't change anything. If anything, it just made us a little bit more closer, um, a little uh less intentional, a little bit more spontaneous. As in, like before we weren't married, we were doing a lot of things to be careful of not having children and things like that. Now it's just like. You my husband and you know, you you we locked in forever. So now it's more like we're spontaneous with things and it's just <sighs> if you know, if you're married then you understand what I'm saying. But um yeah, so we are officially married. I'm about to put my hair up actually. Um I was gonna crimp it, but I'm gonna take my hair back down because I just like to have my hair down when I'm not sleeping. But for the purpose of my shower, I'm gonna put it up. I'm just gonna roll the sides up like this. Don't mind if you see my Cleo braids or my little beady beads in the back. Don't judge me. I like to have my hair off my neck and off of everything. And normally I would put this on, but I feel like I don't want to because I'm gonna put my bonnet on. But I'm not gonna do anything right now as far as like putting anything over my head because if you know me, then you know your girl gets this forehead with her foundation and all that kind of stuff. And I need to get all this off. So I'm going in with my makeup wipes first. 
Oh yeah, y'all gonna get all of my tea. Makeup wipes first. The Hydro Boost ones are my favorite. Um, I do use a balm. That's the one thing I have changed for my normal makeup routine is a cleansing balm. So I'm just gonna wipe my makeup off first with this. Any updates? So my skin has changed a lot. Like, um, if you are a day one supporter or you watch every video that I post, um, I didn't really talk about this in the OBGYN like conversation, you know, that, that kitty talk video. Um, but one thing with me changing my OBGYN, this OBGYN is straightforward and to the point. Um, and recently we found out that I do suffer from PCOS. They started me on medication like four or five days before we actually got married, which we got married on a Monday. Um, and they started me on the medication like the week before. And guys, that medication made me so sick. Um, like I can't even tell you guys, okay. Made me really, really sick. Like we went to dinner the night that we got married. The day that we got married, we went out that night and I had a wonderful time, don't get me wrong. We had a ball. We even ended up going midnight bowling together. Just the two of us. And um, I was really, really sick. But I wanted to enjoy my night. So I took some ibuprofen, 800 milligrams. And I suffered through that night. And we ended up just coming home and going to sleep. <laughs> but um, we still had a great time. But that night, that day I was really, really sick. Like... The morning of, I was fine when we did our vows. I was really, really just so excited. Um, I didn't wasn't really sick then, but uh, the night we came back after we did the vows and things like that, when we came back home and I laid down, I woke up and I felt like crap. But baby had already made the reservations and things like that. And the restaurant we went to was the Empressy. So, we ended up doing that. Really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I ended up getting sick. But from that medication, it took my skin, guys, through it. So, right over here, I had, like, a really bad breakout. Like, the texture of my skin was really, really bad. It looks fine now because I um, went to Sephora um and stacked up on some Fenty Skin and literally I'm gonna have to tell you guys the truth the Fenty Skin Cleanser is what cleared my skin up so if you're on birth control if you're on any type of medication for like hormones and things like that Fenty Skin will clear it up but when I wear makeup I have been using the green um cleanse by pharmacy this is sold at Sephora and it's like a cleansing balm I know some people use cleansing balms. Like, if I had on heavy um, eyeshadow, I would have used this to remove it, but I don't. So, I'm just going to use it on my face and on my eyes just to get, like, any eyeliner off. So, what I'm just doing is wiping my face off now with a warm rag. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Skin. So, y'all know, I swear by this cleanser. Um, I feel like... Here's the thing about high-end or, like, uh, beauty brands like Rihanna or J-Lo or Kylie or, like, Kim just brought out one. I feel like this, for a functioning, everyday, hard-working person, those brands do not make affordable skincare products. So, instead of just going to go get everything from the skincare line, I say try it out the first time find what works in that scare can line for you and then buy those products that work and that is how you form a correct skincare routine an authentic one instead of just going to say oh because i like rihanna let me just go buy everything she does if you do that that's cool find a nanny but as far as using it on a regular basis to make sure your skin and things like that is in like intact um the cleanser for me from uh, Fenty Skin is definitely my jam. It's really, really, like, hydrating. Like, do you see that? Very hydrating, very silky, 
it does what it says it does. Um, it does not strip the skin. That's my favorite thing about it. My face does not feel like sandpaper. After using it, it has good lather. It smells good. And, you know, I tried the toner. I tried the moisturizer. I tried so many products from the Pinchy Skin Line. And some of them are good products, but I just feel like for my skin type every day, I don't need all that stuff. So, the toner is good. I feel like if you want a good splurge item, definitely go with the toner too. But for everyday process, I feel like the cleanser does exactly what I need it to do. My brows are not, um, my brows are wax, so that's why they still look kind of like done in a sense but they're not so the toner i'm going to use is the thayers 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 whatever um this is the toning a facial toner it's with hazel if you guys use the one other one from target like the blue bottle it never works too but this is the rose petal one i also bought a facial mist toner from the heritage store um it's a spray bottle but Guys, that is great for when, you know, doing your face, beating your face. So, normally I don't moisturize until I get out the shower and I moisturize my entire body. But that is all I do for my skincare. So, yeah. Let's hop into the shower. I'm definitely probably going to do that in a voiceover, but that's my skincare, everyday skincare routine. Um, I try not to do as much in the morning. Most of the time, I try to wash my face with like a little bit of fancy skin, not as much. At night, when I'm wearing makeup, I definitely go in with the cleanser and things like that just to make sure my skin is like nice and nice and clean for the night. You don't want to sleep with makeup in your face, but... You know, so let's hop into the voiceover. Okay, guys, so before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know um, about the stool that I use in my shower. I got it from Amazon. It's just a standard stool. Um, it works for anything. You can use it around the house and in the shower. We don't have any shower ledges, so... It works great. It sits up high enough where I can reach my legs and shave and all that kind of stuff. But you guys can copy from Amazon. But right now, I'm just getting my body ready for this nice, hot, long shower. You know, you have to really get your body ready for the shower for real. Guys, I do this all the time because I don't want my bonnet to touch my back, like, to get wet while I'm in the shower. And y'all don't talk about my beady beads in the back of my neck. You know, I have to brush those out and all that kind of stuff once we get out of the shower. But I'm starting off with my exfoliating gloves, guys. So I got these from Amazon. They were literally under 10 bucks, maybe like $8.99. And adding them to my shower routine now has been so amazing. I go in with my base cleaner all over my body with these gloves. And as you can see, they're wide enough. I have fat hands, of course, fat fingers, fat hands. Um, and they're wide enough for my hands. So you guys can get a standard size and you know, they work amazingly, and I feel like adding these to my shower routine has made it 10 times better. You know, I feel like even with a washcloth, you really can't get places, but your hands can get, like, in crevices and places that you normally can't get with a washcloth. So, adding these have been amazing. I try to hit all my outside parts um, just to make sure they're extra clean. And then I do go in with my exfoliating washcloth that is by Amazon as well. Um, and I get those extra spots again. Um, guys, I do go in with my base soap twice. Um, once with the exfoliating gloves and once with the exfoliating washcloth. I just feel like it makes sure your body is like really, really clean. Um, and you know, hit everything twice. So, um, the next thing I am going to go in with the exfoliating washcloth, of course, with my base soap again. Um, but I do like to use an exfoliating washcloth when I go over my body washes. Guys, body washes are made for your body to smell good. Put the smell back into your body. Use a base soap and a body wash. And right now I'm using the Native uh, Vanilla Cupcake Tie-Dye Line. 
love this smell it smells amazing um if you don't know big by melissa she's a cupcake owner she has shops in new york city we go every christmas to get her cupcakes they smell amazing they taste amazing and the native line is like a matte short of course um and it is like one of my favorite favorite native lines so on to scrubs as you can see i got my storage and i have all my scrubs like my dove my teacher um well tree hut i love tree hut guys their scrubs smell amazing like real fruits and things like that my pineapple one is definitely my favorite but today i decided to use the watermelon and you know my favorite thing to do with scrubs is to cut the water off put the scrubs everywhere all over your body even if you don't particularly shave that day i use a scrub all the time even when i'm not shaving but when i'm freshly waxed like for an everyday basis definitely definitely use it it's amazing on to things outside the shower my dove spray deodorant keeps me dry all day i like to spray this all over and it's in the apple scent my pomegranate dove deodorant i love the scent of this it's amazing my body gel um oil from equate guys you can get any kind you want i love this especially in the summer it keeps your skin glowy and then my favorite scent right now is the bum bum cream scent um you guys can get this from sephora i got this in the jet set kit but they're pretty kind of big um it was like only 28 dollars, but i'm not even gonna lie the bum bum cream is amazing um but it is a little pricey especially for the bigger jars so i do have the dupe the tropic glow from um ulta beauty um guys it's the same thing it's a firming cream and i do have the oil in the background and then for the feet my stress reliever foot conditioning cream all right guys so that is it for my shower routine evening routine and my skincare routine i did want to um include with you guys but i'm fairly sure you guys already know the reason why my face is so oily i use the nivea hand cream not the lotion guys the nivea hand cream it comes in a blue jar or like a blue tin foil can um i get it from target walmart all those kind of places have it um but that is everything i use in the shower and outside the shower i just um put on my oversized t-shirt and i got also some black shorts um you know just to be comfortable thank you guys for hanging out with your girl everything that i use in this video in the shower and everything will be in the description box below make sure you guys comment like and share make sure you turn on the bell notification so you can be posted when i post you know get those alerts for videos like this lately i've been into skincare routines and night routines and all those kind of videos because um as a plus size girl you really don't see authentic like real authentic shower routines and stuff like that and as i said in my last routine i like being personal i like being that trial and error kind of girl finding things that work for my body type and make me comfortable um i'm just like every other woman i have hormones and i have feelings and i have things that i like to do to make my body feel comfortable as possible so you know i had to have no problem with you know showing my girls and my guys exactly you know the things that i do to feel comfortable so you guys can maybe like either take some tips send me some tips all those kind of things um that works of course you guys know i have psoriasis and eczema as you can see right now it's a good day i don't have anything that's like popping off my skin is like really smooth right now of course the brown spots come from you know old um problem areas but that was like when I was a teenager and I really didn't know what my body was going through, what was happening. So it just left like scarring. But lately I've been doing really, really good. Normally it's all over my face. My face has been doing good. So make sure you guys take some tips and tricks and maybe, you know, implement them in your shower routines or skin repair routines, especially if you have psoriasis or eczema. You feel my pain. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm getting ready to go make some lemonade. Well, strawberry lemonade, fresh strawberry lemonade for my husband. Um, and yeah, I'm comfortable now. And this is my kind of vibes. I love you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and follow me on my social medias. They will be in the description box below. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hey yo, Nash, you go crazy.